Welcome back to Nationwide Visas. Today we will discuss frequently asked questions regarding mechanical engineers, that is, occupation in demand in Canada for mechanical engineers. Before we start this video kindly subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so you will not miss any updates. So let's talk about it in detail. Mechanical engineering is the most evergreen field in the area of engineering with a love for machines, their analysis, design, manufacturing, maintenance, and installation. It is an ever-evolving field with growth prospects of potential nature. The activity sectors related to this field are applied mechanics, dynamics, fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, heat transfer, and production technology. Further, this field has immense potential in areas of technology, exploration, and the military. The Canadian labor market has a huge demand for engineers and people with skill, talent, and work experience are always welcomed by the Government of Canada. Now let's discuss about Permanent Residency PR. How to apply for permanent residency in Canada? There are two popular ways of applying for the Express Entry Program and Provincial Nominee Program (PNP). The Express Entry Program is a federal system that allows the candidate with the right to settle anywhere in the country and Provincial Nominee Program is a province-based PR status and the candidate can stay in that province only for which the PR status is achieved. If we talk about the Express Entry Program, then it is a selection system that was started by the Government of Canada. Canada in 2015 to bridge the gap of skilled workforce in Canada by inviting young and skilled people in Canada. It is a fast-track model in which applications are filed online and the candidate is evaluated on the basis of point measurement which is calculated through the tool of Comprehensive Ranking System CRS. CRS tool calculates the points of the candidate on the basis of the following parameters. First parameter is age. There is no defined age limit for immigrating to Canada but being between 18 to 35 years is considered an ideal age. Now, second parameter is language proficiency. Canada places huge importance on language proficiency thus those who can speak French are allotted extra marks and preference. Further, the English proficiency is also tested through the IELTS examination, and the higher the candidate scores in IELTS, the better is the Comprehensive Ranking System CRS points score. Third parameter in this list is education. Higher the education is better the Comprehensive Ranking System CRS points score. A good education never goes to waste and it is your added advantage at the time of immigration as well. Now fourth parameter is work experience. Having skills and talent on your side can not only guarantee you a job in Canada but also help you immigrate. High work experience works positively for your candidature for the PR status. And fifth parameter is adaptability. Having a sibling's house in Canada is of added advantage for you as it allows you extra points. After a candidate registers himself or herself in the Express Entry Program, his application is put across the Express Entry Pool from which the Express Entry draws decide the minimum qualifying marks for candidates for the Permanent Residency PR status. Once. The minimum eligibility is met by the candidate then he is considered fit to apply for the PR status and is sent invitations to apply which needs to be responded to within 90 days time. Second option for permanent residency PR in Canada is Provincial Nominee Program PNP. All those candidates whose CRS points are low and are unable to qualify for the PR status through the Express Entry Program can apply through the Provincial Nominee Program. Every province has its own eligibility for the permanent residency status and that needs to be met to attain the PR status for that province. First if we discuss about Ontario Immigration Nominee Program OINP, selects a candidate if the Express Entry score is 400. In Saskatchewan Immigration Nominee Program SINP, selects a candidate if he she scores 60 points out of 100 points grid. And in Nova Scotia, wants your occupation to be in demand and an yield score of 4.5. Now we will discuss scopes. Scopes of mechanical engineering in Canada. There are three engineering professions that are in high demand in Canada information technology, civil engineering, and mechanical engineering, and in this particular order itself, thus, if you are a mechanical engineer and are planning to migrate to Canada then there is nothing to worry about. Now talk about salary slab. Some of the salary slab in different regions. 
Toronto between $67,100, $117,600. Vancouver between $67,700, $117,400. Montreal between $63,100, $111,400. Calgary between $69,800, $120,400. Let's talk about some of the ways to seek employment in Canada. Online application, social networking, look for jobs in areas where your job profile is in high demand. Now I am going to tell you about Nationwide Visas, how Nationwide Visas can help you. Our consultation is offered by authorized and licensed immigration consultants. Step-by-step -step guidance through eligibility and process. We maintain a secure online process and transparency. System of complaint redress for any process. Experience of having processed more than 30,000 applications. Every case is assessed multiple times before submission. Easy evaluation of the qualifications and other skills. So don't wait and start your immigration process today. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching this video. video. For more information about other occupation in demand in Canada kindly subscribe to our channel so you will notify when we will back with other videos. And also press the bell icon so you will not miss any updates.